queue, what's another question that we can jump into? Having worked with startups in both the advertising and SMB marketing space, what's one common mistake you see early stage founders making in terms of product development or market fit? I would say, again, kudos for Googling. Um, I would say, uh, I, I would say a little bit more of the same. It almost doesn't actually matter what industry that you work in, but the biggest problem and the biggest reason why I see people fail and failure is just stopping working on something, right? You run out of money resources, that's it. You got to go do something else or change projects or pivot or whatever it is. Um, and that is building for way too long, uh, mainly for yourself and nobody else. Uh, engineers fall into the strap a lot um, and where they will they love coding, they love working on product, and then they build something with a ton of features and functionality that nobody really needs. Uh, so, you know, if you're building an advertising company, for example, or an ad network, well, you have to think about supply and demand. I need to get publishers on this network and I need to get advertisers on this network. Even if you have ad tech in the middle and I worked in ad tech for a number of years, you're not going to get anywhere unless you have publishers and advertisers. Pretty simple. So your job is to pick up the phone and call that those, those stakeholders to make sure that they're signed up on your platform when the technology is ready to go. So for almost any business, even if it's a simple business model, a simple revenue model where the customer is really clear um, and you're just going after a niche that you think you can own, you got to go out and recruit those people, build that list so that when the product is ready or some version, usable version of the product is ready, you can hand it off for someone to actually give you feedback and, and iterate on what you build. Great answer. Could have said it better myself. 